Oh, some boys go to college, but we think they're all wussies, because they get all the knowledge, and we get all the... All right, I'll do it. Yes! And that should be the song of guys who go on the road um, when they're 21 years old instead of going to college. Hey, it's Dr. Gonzo. I am in my Memorial Day gear with my Dr. Gonzo hat. I want to show you this uh, lovely uh, poppies are a thing to wear. And this poppy was given to me by this young lady, a real little kid. It was so cute. And uh, when I was in the UK, I'm going to take this hat off. I got a hat here, but that's okay. Um, she gave it to me. Uh, we were watching a, a parade in, in Canada and the UK. They call instead of Memorial Day, it's called Remembrance Day. And I was out um, <clears throat> in the UK and watching a, a Remembrance Day with some friends. And, and one of their little daughters said, I think you should have a posy in your hat, Tim. So uh, a poppy, a poppy in, in your hat. So I've had this ever since. It's really a, a beautiful uh, memento of a little kind action by a child. Uh, that was in 2016, 2017, long time ago. Hey, my uh, review is going to be on the one and only fantastic. Let me get the whole title. This is one of the longest titles of any any movie ever. The one and only genuine original family band. Um, DVD, uh, what, uh, Chris Gore, a little update on Chris. He's making his rounds on the shows now. So I'm glad uh, Chris is doing okay. I've met Chris a couple times. He's always been very, very nice to me. Met Alan at the Vegas meetup where there was a lot going down. And uh, just, and Dante, <laughs> great guys, great guys. But uh, when I first started listening to Chris. He used to do uh, DVD Tuesday, uh, Tuesdays. Um, and and he turned me, well, the show, not Chris personally, but the show turned me on to a lot of really interesting uh, DVDs. So this is in honor of my friend Chris Gore. And because I like old Disney. I mean, I, I may have some very adult stuff on my channel, but my heart uh, grew up on my grandparents' floor watching Walt Disney World in color. And this was a, a particularly really, really uh, good, just a beautiful, uh, beautiful um, uh, DVD. But this was just a very entertaining, multi-talented, huge cast uh, on the DVD. And uh, so I'm going to uh, give a little review on it. And uh, uh, I was really saddened to hear uh, that Richard Sherman died a couple days ago. It would have been on May 25th, 95 years old. Um, because I used to play with Gary Lewis and the Playboys, and we were, I, I've been tied. I did some little bit of work for Disney and stuff like that. This is back in the day. This is a good decade ago, at least. And uh, back when I was with Gary Lewis and the Playboys, Gary's first gig was at Disney. So we were anyway, long story short, babble, babble. Um, uh, we were tied in with Disney because Gary's first gig was at Disneyland. So we had access to a lot of guy plus Gary. It was Jerry Lewis, the comedian's son. So a lot of people wanted to see Gary and stuff like that. And I met Richard Sherman a couple times. And I got to tell you from what I, rem I remember, um, he was just a really, really nice guy. I never met Robert. I think Robert died in 2012, maybe. Um, but Richard, it, all my favorite songs growing up as a child were written by the Sherman brothers. Um, all of them. I mean, from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang to all the Disney ones to Small World, uh, the stuff that they had on the rides. They were just a great writing duo. You know, I mean, the Sherman Brothers were the stock writers at Disney. And um, I think Feed the Birds won an Academy Award. And I will do, uh, I, I plan on doing a uh, uh, a video uh, on the Sherman Brothers because I know quite a bit about them. And I have met Richard a couple of times. And uh, so you look forward to that. Now, back to the one and only genuine original family band. 
the interesting thing in this, it's a star studded cast. And let me tell you from a, a guy point of view, I loved Leslie Ann Warren. Um, she, of course, was in Roger and Hammer, Hammerstein's Cinderella. Uh, the, what was the million dollar, uh, the Fred McMurray movie, um, Million Dollar Dad or something like, oh gosh, the name escapes me. She was in that. I had a super big crush on her. I mean, she's a beautiful woman. Uh, she still looks good. And she's dated guys like Paul Stanley. So uh, anyway, uh, enough with the girl crush stuff. Kurt Russell was in it. Leslie Ann Warren, Walter Brennan. Now, I used to watch Walter Brennan in The Real McCoys. If you remember that old show, uh, The Real McCoys, that was that was co-starring Richard Crenna. Richard Crenna played uh, Rambo's commanding officer. I, I forget his exact name in the movie. Now, Buddy Epson was in this too. Okay, Buddy Epson uh, played Walter Brennan's son. Now, Buddy Epson... Um, we all know him as Jed Clampett. Well, doggy. Ain't that be something? But he also, a lot of people don't know that he also was the original Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Um, he actually, when they applied the silver, back in those days, they didn't have the special stuff they have these days. Yeah, he, they When they applied the silver makeup to him, he got very ill and was not able to continue with that. And then they got, of course, Jack Haley. Now, um, in her film debut in this, now this is interesting to me. It was Goldie Jean Hahn. Uh, they used her whole real name at first. This was now Goldie, I think at this point, had been on Laughing already. And she's Goldie Jean Hahn. That's how she's listed. And she's listed at not, she didn't have a name in the film. It was Giggly Girl, which I think perfectly describes um, Goldie Hahn. Now, I, I had wondered. I did some digging and I'd wondered if Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, obviously they would have met during the shoot, but if they started dating there, because Kurt, it seemed Kurt, Kurt in this movie looks real, real young. Now, um, they actually didn't get together as a couple until the movie Swing Shift, if you remember that. That's a, a older uh, dated movie. Um, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Now, uh, the one and only genuine original family band, it was about North and South Dakota becoming states. And it would have taken uh, place in, in about the same time sequence. Remember the Deadwood series? Love that series. Would it taken place around the same time, not the same area? But at first, North, at first, North and South Dakota was, was going to go in as one state, but then they came in as two. Now, that was a uh, this is all around a very contested election, kind of like what we got going on here. Um, reason being, it was Gro uh, Grover Cleveland versus Benjamin Harrison. And Grover Cleveland, who was the Democrat, actually got more, more ballots, more votes. They put the Electoral College in there, and um, Benjamin Harris ended up winning. So, so this whole movie is based kind of on, um, the fighting between uh, Democrats and Republicans, uh, John Davidson represented the Republicans. The town that they were in were very much uh, a Republican town. So there was a lot of fighting because Walter Brennan's family, um, uh, what is their family name? Let me check that really quick. Their family name would have been the Bauer family. That's right. And they had a, a a, a multi-talented cast. Leslie Ann Warren was in there. Janet Blair, who's a great actress. Richard Deacon was in that. Richard Deacon was also in um, uh, Dick Van Dyke show. <clears throat> he played the go-between uh, uh, with uh, Dick Van Dyke's boss. And Wally Cox was in it. And I used to love Wally Cox, the Wally Cox show. Um, Wally Cox also did the voice of Underdog. When criminals in this world appear and bring the laws that they should fear and frighten all who see or hear, the cry goes up so far and near for underdog. 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 Speed of lightning, roar of thunder, fighting all who love thunder. Underdog. Underdog. 
That's just a little baby boomer trivia. <laughs> Useless information wrapped around my head. It, this was a really good movie. It's a really good family movie. If you're looking for something to watch at home, you can pick this up. Um, you you can get, I got this at Walmart for five bucks. Um, this is one movie that Disney does not carry on Disney Plus. I, now, I, I don't have my subscription to Disney Plus anymore. I dumped that just because so much garbage on there um but they never showed this and i always wondered if it was because republicans and democrats were fighting and it was uh based on an election that the electoral college voted benjamin harrison as the winner kind of like they did with donald trump but uh, let me show you a clip of the movie and i'm telling you what leslie and warren and goldie hawn have a dance off and i'm going to show you that as well now, here's a little bit, the Democrats versus the Republicans. Have you got many people to move to Dakota? Well, not just people, Mr. Bauer, but the right people. You see, the thing that first interested our state chairman, he found that you're almost 100% Republican through this whole area. Oh? That's mostly what you're interested in, ain't it? Getting Republicans to move up there? That's right, sir. You see, Mr. Bauer, this past year, we've had almost a tidal wave of shiftless, irresponsible Democrats moving in. A bunch of shysters and quacks and usury-type moneylenders. And if we don't do something about it soon, they'll have us outnumbered. Well, let me tell you something, young man. You're trumping in the flat tune on a worn-out horn. Because you can't turn back a tidal wave, not by putting out a rabble-rousing ragtag newspaper. And not by speech making to a bunch of poor, misguided Republicans. And furthermore. That's I... enough, Grandpa. Now stop it. We have a very special little rule that I have to invoke, Mr. Carter, to, to make life bearable around here. We do not discuss, we do not even mention politics in this house. Yeah, that's a little bit of that. Uh, the interesting thing about that is Walter Brennan was cast as the part of Grandpa uh, there because Walt uh, thought that Walter Brennan was so much like his dad, you know, kind of crotchety and, and grouchy. And he's very much like that as Grandpappy Amos in The Real McCoys. It's a great movie. There's a ton of great songs in it, probably 10 songs. When the Sherman Brothers wrote, man, I mean... You know, who's going to forget the bare necessities? One thing about the Sherman brothers that I'm going to add in my video on the Sherman brothers also is Richard Sherman was involved with Iron Man 2 as well. Did you know that? I bet you didn't, but he was. And uh, God, I'll miss him. Um, glad he lived a good old age and he leaves his music behind. And speaking of the music, here's a little bit of a dance off between Goldie Hawn and Leslie Ann Warren. Both of them can kick it up really good. Let's check it out.
My compliments. And ours to both of you. Hey, hey you might as well give up. You're never going to learn him how to dance. <laughs> the giggly girl. That's that's just good, clean fun and great dancing. Um, if you, I like all the old Busby Berkeley stuff, uh, great dance moves, and that's love to see good dance numbers like that, which were well executed. I thought in that number, if you listen close enough, I thought they borrowed, they would have borrowed from their own melody line in, uh, from Step in Time, uh, from Mary Poppins, Dick Van Dyke, <laughs> when all the uh, chimney sweeps were dancing. So I thought they they borrowed a bit of the melody line in there, um, which is great. Hey, it's a great movie, um, and it shows how Republicans it toward the end more toward the end. No spoilers, but um, it all Disney movies always resolve themselves with a happy ending, and in this one, uh, it does too. Again, I highly recommend the one, the only original. And genuine, the one and only genuine original family band. That's too much words at one time for this old burnout drummer guy, 67 year old, to remember. So, hey, this is Dr. Gonzo. Um, I'll see you soon. Uh, I'm brewing up some Sherman Brothers, a tribute to them, long legacy of beautiful, beautiful music that we will hum and listen to. I know I will the rest of my uh, days. Hey, have a happy Memorial Day. Uh, remember, uh, this is the day we honor the people who died for our freedom, not the veterans. Uh, you can honor your veterans every day. I'm not telling you what to do, but this is the day that we honor the dead who died in order that we can have the freedom that we have here in the United States of America. So no matter what party you're on, um, honor it. I, I covered... Uh, as the radio station covered the Memorial Day Parade, and I'm going to put up a video on that too. So, hey, um, more. I'm going to go see if and see if I like it. I like John Krasinski and I like Ryan Reynolds. Um, heard Chris's review on it, so I'm kind of eh. definitely going to go see Furioso and can't wait for Deadpool and Wolverine. This is Dr. Gonzo saying the one and only genuine original family band. I wanted to see if I could remember that. Gets two thumbs up. So we're going to end it with a stick twirl <laughs> with my weird stick from my buddy Glenn, who uh, is a producer for Film Threat. Good guy. Um, don't forget, I don't monetize. So please uh, sign up. Uh, uh, I recently saw the DA. Uh, really good. Oh, man, I'm glad. Alan, thank you for bringing him on. Uh, it's a really good channel. Um, and then of course, Friday night tights, you know, with those guys, um, I don't monetize. So please buy their merch, become a member, you know, uh, definitely lift them up. They do that for a living. So, um, please give them super chats and all that kind of stuff. I got a job, uh, beside playing drums. Uh, I do janitorial. <laughs> That's okay. I used to be a rock star and I could deal with a little uh, downscale, but job. I love my job. I really do. So enough babbling from me. Now, here's the outro. I decided to have a short ending since I'm so long-winded anyway. So here's our ending. And again, two thumbs up for the one and only genuine original family band. Hey, this is Chris Gore. You're listening to Dr. Gonzo Radio. I'm Dr. Gonzo Piqua something.com. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? Yeah. We'll have Zach. I'll uh, have Zach do the next bumper. <laughs> so, hey, Dr. Gonzo's here. Put a, put a dime in him. You gotta let the whole song play out. He's like human jukebox. Oh, he's a talker, ain't he? He's an old fat crap on man. Our parents were the greatest generation. Our dads went overseas to fight a war As soon as they came back they grabbed our moms and hit the sack And there they stayed from 1946 to 64 Making babies Lots of babies The baby boomers 76 million 
And we grew older, but we're not dead yet. Hail to the king, baby. What the hell are you two doing? It's called rocking out. You wouldn't understand, Dad. You're not with it. I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was. Now what I'm with isn't it, and what's it seems weird and scary to me. It'll happen to you.